The Toronto Raptors are in the playoffs. After a long season filled with injuries, they finally pushed during the last stretch of the season, grabbing the fifth spot in the Eastern Conference, which is the more competitive one as of late. During this stretch, we have seen Pascal Siakam become one of the best players in the league and Fred Van Vliet becoming a true captain for this team. However, one player who was not expected to shine as bright as he did in his first season has been a revelation this year. Today's video will be about why Scotty Barnes deserves the Rookie of the Year award. The young Raptors star recorded his best game of the 2021-22 season on March 18, when he scored a new career-high 31 points and career-best 17 rebounds in a loss to the Lakers. Barnes became the first rookie in franchise history to tally 30-plus points and 15-plus rebounds in the same game versus the Lakers. The Kia Rookie of the Year candidate was a key part of Toronto's success during the regular season, helping the Raptors surge late in the season to clinch the number 5 seed in the East. Scotty Barnes is currently in his first playoff appearance against the number 4 seed, Philadelphia 76ers. Before we begin today, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. If you have any similar or different ideas why Scotty Barnes should win the Rookie of the Year, hit the comment section as I would love to hear your opinion. Let's keep rolling! As much promise as Evan Mobley shows as a potential All-NBA player, the Rookie of the Year in 2022 should be Scotty Barnes. Mobley had to be dependable early for the Cavaliers and has performed admirably, but being the best player requires more than being a physical specimen. Barnes has done it all for the Raptors. He scores from anywhere on the court and is able to put his shoulder into veteran players who can destroy space for young players. Rarely do rookies enter the league and play bully ball, but this youngster has made it a point to push his opponents around all season. At the Combine, Barnes measured in at 6'7 with a 7'2 wingspan, and he weighed in at 227 pounds. It takes time for many young players, but Barnes has used his bulky frame to his advantage all season. Count me in as one of the people who believe Mobley has as much potential as any 2021-22 rookie, but whatever Mobley turns into in the coming years is not what Barnes is now. He's a dependable scoring option and strong defender for a team that won 60-plus games just two seasons ago. Barnes uses that long and unusually strong for his age body to punish his veteran opposition. He's also shooting close to 50% from the field, a rarity for an NBA rookie. Winning has added an element to the Rookie of the Year race that usually is reserved for the MVP. Of the three most likely contenders for that award, Barnes will most likely have the best playoff outcome. Scotty Barnes has played well enough to make Ontario not pine for their former superstars, DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. Barnes has trailed Mobley by most estimations for a substantial chunk of 2021-22, to though he has kept the race close enough to hopefully snag the Rookie of the Year here in the final month. Barnes is averaging 16.4 points and 7.3 rebounds across his last 20 games. He sports a plus 4.1 net rating in March. He is one of four rookies since 2000 to average 15 points, 7 rebounds and 3 assists per game, a crew that includes previous Rookies of the Year Luka Doncic, Ben Simmons and Blake Griffin. And while Mobley's defensive impact is likely greater than Barnes's, the advanced statistics paint a relatively clear picture overall. Barnes leads Mobley in true shooting percentage, PER, assist percentage and turnover rate. He's generated more win shares and has a healthy edge in 538's Raptor metric. It's conceivable that Barnes could scoot up the middle in Rookie of the Year balloting if enough voters dig their heels in on Mobley versus Cunningham ground. But this is no compromise candidate. It's more of a Goldilocks choice, as in just right. The Raptors forward was fierce last week, adding 19 points and 14 rebounds, including 6 of Toronto's 20 offensive boards in its victory over Atlanta. The only thing Raptors fans might like more than Kyle Lowry is their old pal's assessment of Barnes. He's going to be a cornerstone of the franchise, Lowry said. He fits in perfectly there. How hard he plays, how passionate he is for the game, and he's only going to continue to get better. He is also potentially a franchise changer. Barnes finds cutters out of the high post, bullies smaller defenders and communicates like a veteran. It's crazy. It's a good recipe though for sure, Van Vliet commented on Barnes' impact and future. Since the All-Star break, he has averaged 17.1 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds and 3.7 assists, 
helping the Raptors leap to fifth in the East and strengthening his already strong case for Rookie of the Year. On a team that plays a frantic, physically demanding brand of basketball, Barnes ranks 11th in the league in total minutes. Standing 6'7 with a 7'2 wingspan, he jumps vertically every opening tip, regularly plays point guard, constantly tells his coaches that he wants to defend stars and generally appears to be having the time of his life. Is Barnes too naive to know that your rookie season is supposed to be grueling? Is the transition genuinely easy because he's so advanced? He's pretty advanced, Van Vliet says. It's either he's really advanced or he's just super talented or probably a combination of both. His reads are okay. He gets sped up. You know, he's still 20 years old, he's figuring it out, but he makes some good passes. He's understanding the game plan, and then he just goes out there and plays. In the final game this season against the Knicks, the Raptors cemented their fifth spot in the conference and, as we know, this has them up against the Sixers in the first round. The Raptors finished the season ahead of the Cavaliers, who had to participate in the play-in tournament, which directly puts the Rookie of the Year vote in Barnes' favor. What Barnes has been doing for the Raptors all season long, where he's averaging 35.4 minutes, the most of any rookie and 11th in the entire league, has just been flat-out astounding. He's filled multiple roles for Toronto, from leading the team in scoring in October as Pascal Siakam was out to start the season, to being perhaps the most important defender on the team when OG Anunobi was sidelined for 15 games. He's played point guard at times, while other times he's just roaming around the court waiting for his opportunity to muscle his way into the paint and score. He can defend all five positions well, and has often made clutch stops down the stretch. I think Barnes may have the edge over Mobley right now, but these last two weeks could flip-flop all the way until the end. Barnes wasn't guaranteed a starting spot when the season began, but he was a logical choice with Pascal Siakam recovering from off-season shoulder surgery. Barnes immediately had an impact, averaging a team-leading 18 points and 9 rebounds in the season's first seven games, while shooting 55% from the floor. And, despite the occasional blip, it's a long season for a rookie, Barnes has been impressively consistent since. Even with the team at full health, Barnes has continued to play a big role. He's probably the fourth or fifth option when Fred Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam, Gary Trent Jr., and OG Anunobi all play, but he's not afraid to do the dirty work to get buckets, a team leading 2.6 offensive rebounds per game, or call his own number, or wait for opportunities in transitional lineups. Barnes has not only been a critical part of the offense, he's guarded, well, everyone all season long. Barnes has turned a lot of heads this season with his incredible play and is a top candidate for winning the Rookie of the Year award this season. He loves playing against the best players and teams in the league and isn't afraid of anyone and no task is impossible for him. And what is your opinion? Do you think that Scotty Barnes can win the Rookie of the Year award? If not, who do you think deserves it more? How will Barnes' success in the regular season translate to the playoffs? I would love to hear back from you, so hit the comment section and let me know what you think.